What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Man, you understand that when it comes to relationships and things like that, and when it ends for men, it is always kind of put out there that men are just so terribly sad about the relationship ending. And, you know, this guy's life is going to be over. You know, he don't have no opportunity to do anything. And, you know, how did he let that beautiful woman get away? Isn't that what they were saying about Devon Franklin? Like, once Devon Franklin divorced Megan Good, they were acting like his life was going to be over. And in fact, they forgot he left her. I mean, this is how ludicrous it is when it comes to the man's perspective as to what he needs in the relationship. Black men in particular, because a lot of our black men who are very talented and they have a lot to lose in the economy by really saying what they feel, their story isn't told, okay? So when Tina Lawson divorces Richard Lawson, or, you know, Tina knows, divorces Richard Lawson, he can't really come out and say, God damn it, I'm glad she's gone. I'm glad she's gone. I'm glad I got her the f out of here. He can't say that, but he can say it in different ways. I want you to look at this post and this video playing in the background. He posted this on Instagram. Suit on, he got them old ass, uh, you know, Bobby Blue Bland dance moves. I don't know, from, 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 from the 60s and 70s. Uh, the, the brother is feeling good. Why? Why is he happy? Why? Because he can't come out and tell it. But you know what? All of us as black men, we're going to tell a form. We're going to tell the story. Okay? Let's go back to the whole Hellraiser bit I've been saying about certain ladies, uh, especially in relationships in black America. And it can happen all over America. You know, there are good ladies in relationships, but unfortunately, there are Hellraisers. The ones that suck the life out of you. I told you my pastor, he's married to a Hellraiser. She gonna bust hell wide open. I'm talking about just evil for no, I mean, just evil, uh, rude, inconsiderate, you know, suck the life out of you. Uh, maybe that's how she got him, sucking the life out of him at first, but she's just terrible, okay? And a lot of times, a lot of men are trapped, you know, because let me tell you something, contrary to popular belief, no man wants to just leave his woman like that. I mean, you know, we understand that times going to get hard in relationships and you're not always going to see eye to eye. But, you know, as a man, we like to build, you know, we, we're builders uh, by nature. And we like to see the woman that we have been dealing with for so long. And we don't really want to start all over again. Not like that. We just gonna be, we, we, we don't want to really be starting around like all over like that. Right. So it hurts us. Not, it's not even that we even like your ass. It hurts us that we failed. We probably don't even like you no more, to be real. But the fact that we gotta start all over again, it, it's like, damn, man, like, how we gotta do that? But then it comes to a part relationship where we're like, it's not working, bro. I mean, any anybody that's been there, you know what I'm talking about, right? It's not working, okay? It's not working. And if you got kids, it's time to tell the kids, let them know. You know, and you can't really tell them like you want, but your mom is a hellraiser, okay? Um, I got to get up out of here. I'm willing to downsize. And let me tell you this, because, you know, I've seen divorces happen in my family. Listen, you can keep everything as long as I get away from you. You can have the house. You can have the car. Let me see my kids whenever you want to see. I don't care who you got. If you have a new man, I will help him move in. But as long as I get away from your ass, that's 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 imperative. I got to get away from you. And you know, you're not even worried about the fact that you're not having sex anymore. You're not even worried about the fact that, you know, she ain't even coming in on time. You're not worried about black men. Am I talking about lying? You're not worried about that. OK, because you see her finally for what she is. Hell raising. And you just cutting down and, and, and you're happy. Even when you come there, you know it's over. You see her, you're not even arguing with her no more. You don't hold nothing against her no more. You don't you're happy you got a stoic look. 
she go in the room and you you sitting there and you moving your stuff out and all you thinking about while you even sitting there seeing her is look at all the booty i'm about to get damn i feel good man i can't believe i'm about to be up out of here man like jesus christ i can't get up out of here fast enough i'm gonna change my number about to block her ass all this stuff man i don't even care look if she get with somebody man i'm gonna like the picture bro i'm just look, look with no hard feelings because deep down you know that wherever she go she is going to destroy that guy's life you know it like some of y'all know that right so you start getting excited even though it's a new thing you know think about you've been with a lady for a long time you know you've been married you've been in a relationship you, you you forget what it feels like to be by yourself but man you about to be by yourself and that's the most exciting part you get your life back you don't you, you get to live the life that you want your own time you know you ain't got to go see her and, and some of you brothers out there you know some of y'all deal with the mother-in-laws uh, you know, some brothers is, is is married interculturally. So, you know, let's say if you had a wife from a different part of the black diaspora, and, you know, they'd be just dropping by, uh, you know, out the blue. And, you know, you know, you know, you don't like that kind of stuff. I, I hate that stuff. You don't want to call, just come over. Always on the brawl shit. Don't want to pay it back. You know, just things like that. Just hella inconsiderate and dusty. You know what I mean? And now you're about to start over. And especially if you got a little bit of money. And then what about that chick, right? That she been checking you out? She been kind of flirting with you, but you was married and, and all of that. And, and 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 now you can go head on and 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 and, 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 and you done learned a lot from what you shouldn't do the next time. And now you know what you're not gonna settle for no more in the next time, right? You, these are things that men are looking forward to. And what I'm telling you is the re the reason why Richard Lawson is happy he got another shot at life. Y'all don't understand how many black men die emotionally married and can't say nothing. I'm talking about professors, businessmen, pastors, doctors, dealing with hell raisers, and they can't say nothing about it. That's how sick it is. You've been dealing with hell raisers, and now you got a chance to get free. No more arguing. No more fighting, no more begging, no more counselors. Just go away, please. Just go away. A jigger is tired of you. And I don't know why y'all always think that, you know, that, a, that, 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 that the black man don't want you to go. Yes, he do. Like, we're gonna be honest here. Like, y'all always acting like some man is gonna be sad when you go. Do you know how many black men are happy that y'all taking y'all ass on? It ain't about how fine you are or how thick you are. I mean, that, 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 my brother is tired of you. These brothers tired. It ain't worth the trauma. It ain't worth the drama. It ain't worth all that. Okay? I see you when I see you. Where my kids at? And it's even better if you ain't got kids. Please get the get, get take your ass up out of here. Now. Now. Hey, hey, just go. You need some help with that? Like, let me help you get your luggage. Or I get my shit and get by it. But, but you got to go. Don't call me no more. I'm tired of you. Baby, I love you from afar. But please stay over there. Please stay your ass over there. I'm tired of you. So, guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all you do. Scrape the bell. We're out.